Hey guys, what's up? Servo11 here. I'm sure um, some of you guys have gone back to school or you are going back to school within this week. Some of you may have taken a break from work, but you know, it's time to get back to work, get back to school. You know, just make a strong finish and we'll have an awesome summer. Today I'm going to be talking about a rumor, a Pokemon rumor for Generation 6 which uh, actually has some very interesting stuff in there. Um, I'll, leave a I'll leave a link in the description for all this information. Mm -hmm. So basically this guy, his name is Yellow Giant, and he's a visual designer by trade. He's uh, worked in the Pokemon franchise, but he has a, a, small, a smaller role, and he's kind of, um, he's gone, gone up throughout the years, and he's a, uh, actually aided in the the first uh the central games you know the central series you know the generations he doesn't design anything like that but he's an ass assistant for like designing 3d models for uh game freak and um he says that his first big, big project was like the pokemon 3d app which the pokedex app for uh the nintendo 3ds um i'm sure you've seen some of those models they look all right. Um, the thing is, the thing about this is, um, I think they're going to be using these models in this in this game, and I, I don't know about that, cause uh, if you are going to do like a video game with the 3D perspective, I would prefer to prefer for them to make the models look as as best as possible. And I don't think the 3D app uh, has the best models, but that's just me. Um, so apparently this guy is dropping details about the new games and um, this is his first major retail game that he's worked on and the game will be reveal, re revealed in a few days and he's going to drop a few details and I'm just going to tell you guys about them. Um, he's not going to give anything like any proper names, any um, direct details, but he will say like some general things and um, he said new information. He doesn't know how much of this information is going to be revealed, but he knows that they're going to reveal, reveal the titles at least and a new Pokemon, but he's unsure if they'll show any great game screenshots, and that does kind of make sense because usually when they re uh, reveal details about the games, they'll usually just show like a na the name and like uh, maybe like the name, the creative way, you know, like they have it written and stuff on the... Um, the actual game boxes and stuff, and then sometimes they might tease the Pokemon, you know, like they teased uh, Zoroark, and um, that's the only <laughs> thing I can reference right now because I don't really, I don't really, um, for me, fifth generation was probably the only one that I kept up with, like watching Pokemon Smash or whatever it's called, and um, well, I did keep up with Soul Silver and Heart Gold, but those are like the only two game parts of Pokemon that I've seen on Pokemon Smash being revealed over time. Um, so, he says that they're uh, launching three versions of the Pokemon games, uh, known as the Pokemon Trinity, and um, you'll have to wait to actually learn the uh, actual names, and there's more version exclusive stuff in, than before, and little cosmetic differences scattered about. And the focus is not for an individual to buy all three, but you know people will do that anyway. But they're trying to encourage global and local trading and stuff. The thing about this, if this is real, it doesn't make any sense. Because, really, I don't think the Pokemon company is thinking. Because, um, really, how many people actually go out and trade and say, Oh, you have this version exclusive Pokemon, give it to me. I'd rather buy both versions both versions and I don't even need to collect all the Pokemon but that's just me he says the game is going to be in full 3D although many of the backgrounds will be uh, mixed in with hand drawn models like N64 and Playstation games um, such as uh, one of the Final Fantasy games I'm not sure which one this is um, all the characters in Pokemon used in po Pokedex 3D have models uh, and then they're introducing trainer customization, which is a big, pretty awesome thing. You know, um, this is a big thing. You can add your skin color, clothing, and etc. This is a feature that a lot of people have been wanting, and um, it was kind of in Pokemon Battle Revolution. And it would be cool if they added this to the main series. There's going to be a rehaul of various mechanics because they're adding a new, um, a new type. But uh, I'm going to talk about that later. So, some of the Pokemon 
Pokemon will be that can be trans uh, the Generation Five Pokemon can be like transferred over, but they may be altered in different ways to uh, adjust the new gameplay elements and um, the change in the type chart, change in the base stats, uh, adjusted evolution levels. And they're also going to simplify the IV and EV system to appeal to new players and old players. This is a good thing. I don't care what anyone says, this is a good thing. No one should want to EV train or IV train. Like, there are so many people who use, like, other programs to make their Pokemon, their IVs and EVs legit. Because it's so hard to do that, to, like, actually raise a Pokemon and then, like, go into a cave or something and get the specific IVs and e the specific EVs that you want. It's too much work. Um, all the old Pokemon are set to appear, and they'll be uh, distributed among the three versions. They're trying to push for the trading and using a 3DS and trading with Pokemon. Trading Pokemon with people will be easier than before. Uh, it's going to be less plot focused. I'm not sure what they mean by this because Pokemon games, they've never really been like. They've never had this, like, this huge, huge plot with like some sudden twist or something. I, I don't know what they're talking about there, but, um. Uh, you know, gems, evil teams, that's all still going to be there. But they're going to, you know, they're going to make the Pokemon world evolve. And that's kind of key because, um. You know, they said they're going to do an announcement on this, and they said it's going to evolve the Pokemon series, and this guy uses the word evolution, so maybe this might be true. Um, it's set after a major time skip following Pokemon Black and White 2, so they're still kind of trying to um, push a little story into there, into there, I would think, just because of uh, the fact that it does concern Pokemon Black and White 2. The new region is actually, you know, like a space colony... It's, um, uh, you could, uh, look at, like, an anime such as Gundam, or you could look at Nintendo's Metroid, and that's some of the examples that he gives for, um, uh, what a space colony would look like. There's a large hub city, which is pretty cool. Um, that's nice that they're making the, um, the first city town, you know, making that, well, there's gonna be a large city, so... I think that that's good that they're gonna make a um good a place with player interaction. I, I'm sorry, I'm just out of it. Um, there's gonna be multiple bio spears, and um, this this does make sense somewhat. Making the Pokemon series evolve and taking more make up a, taking more of a risk, and um, there's gonna be Pokemon raised in these bio spears. Excuse me, drinking water. And um, also, there are going to be Biospears bio where the gym towns are located. The Biospears uh, are where you can op um, open up as players. Uh, you know, they get bigger as you obtain badges, such as, you know, like how you can use more Pokemon when you get more badges. And there's just more free roaming. Um, this setting and a time skip is going to be introduced to the player. And it's going to be like a new... Um, a new dimension of Pokemon. That's that's what he says. And this part, this is the part I'm skeptical on. There's a new type being introduced called Digital. And that's the translated Japanese name, but it might be different when it's localized. The Digital type is neutral. It has no weaknesses, no resistances, no immunities, but when it's the secondary type, <coughs> It doubles the weaknesses slash resistances of the base type. Fire slash digital is four times weak to water. That's crazy. Now, adding a new type to the game could really t twist a lot of things up. And I think that would be awesome. I think that would be so cool. But I would also like for them to have like a light type something to be opposite of dark but I don't think they're gonna do that but this discuss this talks about a digital type and they're gonna be many new Pokemon that have that are uh, digital but there won't be as many Pokemon introduced as in Unibu which I think is cool cuz um the Pokemon all the Pokemon they're, they're getting there are too many Pokemon I'm, I'm sorry but um, 
I would be glad if they eventually got to a thousand, but right now I'm glad they're um, slowing down. Um, some uh, new Pokemon will have uh, some of the old Pokemon will have new evolutions, which I think is awesome, cause uh, you know it's in the future, so they have to evolve over time. The mascot of the game is like the uh, digital type Pokemon is actually the su successor to Eevee, so uh, Eevee doesn't evolve from an in game, but it was constructed using Eevee as a base, so that that would mean that it would look like Eevee, but it's it's like Eevee, but a different type of Eevee, but it's not on the Eevee evolution chart. That's what I'm getting from it. Uh, it'll be in an Eevee mini movie, so like an anime uh, kind of adaptation, and um, all this information. Some of this information will be revealed uh, with the titles next week, uh, and it'll be the lone starter type Pokemon. All players will start with it, and it will branch off in th into three evolutionary forms, which does make sense, because Eevee has way too many evolution trees, uh, not trees, it branches off, like, you know, we have Flareon, Jolteon, uh, Vaporeon, Ombreon, Espeon, Leafeon, Glaceon, I believe, that's all of them, and that's like seven, so it'd be cool, you know, we have different Eevee set in the future and it has uh, three different evolutionary um, branches and those are going to be the box uh, mascots it's going to have the 3D models from the uh, Pokedex 3D thing and I think this is very interesting but it could be a lie because someone could easily make this up but you know you can check this out for yourself read it I basically went over everything I think it sounds great, but I don't think it'll happen. Anyways, Pokemon is my favorite video game series. If you want to learn like more, th what uh, more of the things that I want in the series, you can check out my Pokemon Black and White two review, cause uh, I think I did a pretty good job with the review. Worked my butt off, and then there's some um, there's some uh, information at the end about what I want in future games. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can talk to me on Facebook and Twitter. We can discuss this if you want. Uh, you can like the video. That'd be pretty helpful. You don't have to. Anyways, I'm going to try to upload this video, and then I'm going to try to upload my top 8 cartoons video. So, see you guys later.